So I wanted to talk about adapting and adaptogens. I think at the minute we're all trying to adapt because there's been a huge change in our lives. Everyone is affected by what's going on at the minute. Um, and we are trying to adapt to these circumstances. Obviously, we always have to adapt and we always have to change because nothing ever stays the same. Um, but this is obviously quite a, an extreme situation um, that we're all trying to navigate. And adapting to change is not always easy. We like things to be as it always is. Then we know what to do, we know how to respond, we know how other people usually respond, and we feel safe. So as soon as something else shifts, it's like, it is literally like our, the earth is shaking, you know, we, we have to find our ground again. And with what's going on at the moment, um, even if you're not directly affected by being ill or maybe you don't actually know anyone who has uh, become ill, it's in the collective, uh, everyone is anxious, everyone is stressed or there is a, a sense of uncertainty. Um, so obviously as a yoga teacher, as an Ayurvedic practitioner, body worker, this is something we work with or we try to navigate all the time. We try to create balance. Um, because shifts kind of happen all the time. But when it's collective, it, it can be even more stressful. And I think at the minute, uh, even more so because we are isolated, um, we don't have the same social connections as we generally have going to work or meeting the, you know, the people who always get on the same bus or on the same train as us, talking to the people in the coffee shop. It's not there, so I think it, it is a challenging time. Um, so adapting to change, uh, you know, what can we do? So obviously as a yoga teacher, I talk about yoga poses, breathing, meditation, um, and we can also get help from our plant allies. And uh, interestingly, there's a kind of um, compounds of, of plants that have the ability of adapting uh, or kind of adapting to how we respond. They are called adaptogens. And adaptogens really support us in how we are feeling. So say when we talk about mental and emotional well-being, an adaptogen has the ability to understand our nervous system and how we respond or how we react to stress. And some of us react to stress by being really anxious uh, panicky and some of us might get angry or resentful or some of us might get really low and feeling heavy and depressed and adaptogens are amazing because they really work on on these responses and the cognitive health and they help to create balance so they are not depressing if you're feeling too excited or anxious um, but they're still uplifting. So it's they're really finding that way. So one of the adaptogens I've worked with quite a lot uh, and that I'm just started taking again is rhodiola. Uh, and the one I got is the rhodiola from Brain Power Nootropics. So that's this one. But you can, you know, this is an organic one and uh, I like it because it is just rhodiola in uh, capsules. Uh, vegetarian capsules uh, so that's important for me because I wouldn't take capsules with the, if they weren't uh, vegetarian and basically rhodiola is one of the plants that has this ability of being an adaptogen so the rhodiola actually helps to create that balance there's been the interesting thing with rhodiola is that if you look on um, PubMed or any of the other resources for medical research and scientific research is one of the plant compounds that there's been extensive research into 
uh, and it's a lot. So a lot of the cognitive health. Um, so this this company, uh, Brain Power Neurotropics. I don't know if I say Neurotropics correctly. It's there, but Neurotropics is a bit like the adaptogens. It has the ability of cognitive health and well-being. So our brain, how our brain functions. Um, so it has a lot uh, about that. So actually, he feeling mentally and emotionally well. But even <clears throat> there's been research into how it works on recovery from exercise, um, even in relationship to cancer treatment. So again, you know, look at the research, uh, but there's so much interesting research on rhodiola. And, and I've been, when I've been taking it, I take it maybe for a couple of weeks or a few months and then I have a break. And then if I feel it's calling me again, I take it again. Um, but I think we need our plant allies at the moment. Uh, and this one is good. So this one is a brain power neurotropics, uh, organic rhodiola, made in Britain. Um, so that's the one I've been using at the moment. Uh, so yeah, so it, it, it is just, that extra support is not gonna, it's not um, something you're gonna get addicted to, but it is something that can potentially support you as we are adapting to change. Uh, it is definitely very good for our cognitive health and well being, endurance, even, and uh, just feeling that we have that bit more energy to work with. And um, whether you're feeling low and heavy or whether you're feeling anxious, uh, this is the one that might be really useful for you. So that's one of the things of adapting to change. Obviously, you can have a look uh, you know, on my Instagram page, Anya underscore Yogini, Anya A-N-J-A underscore Yogini, or uh, my website, yogaembodied.com. And I am kind of posting things, uh, yoga sequences, breathing, all of that stuff. So hopefully we can all create a space of security and feeling safe at this present time. So I think that's it. I'm waffling on a bit. <laughs> so anyway, if you have any questions, uh, just let me know, put it in the comments, and um, I'll see you another time. So thank you so much for watching.